So I've just got the project from my projectile tutorial open here. I'm going to go into the events and I'm going to make a new event and I'm not going to have a condition because it's just going to happen all the time. And I'm going to add an action. I'm going to just search for camera. And so you could just center the camera on an object, but we want to do smooth movement. And so we're going to do on the X. And so this will let us change the values for the X axis and the Y axis independently. So the operator is going to be set to and the value is going to be lerp. And you can see here, number, number, number. The first number is going to be camera X and brackets. Second number is going to be our player. This is going to be dot X as well. Our third number is how long it's going to take for the camera to center back on our player after he's moved. So let's do 0 0.1, for example. Now, if I play it and I move, you can see it's going like this, right? So the reason my character isn't in the center is because its points aren't in the center and all that stuff. But you can change that to suit your needs. But now if we go up and down, it doesn't do anything. So we can just do exactly the same thing here, but just for the Y position. So I'm just going to copy and paste this, go on the Y and just change these to Y instead of X. And I've got a really cool camera. So if I slap in a background, so this is not a very good background, but it helps us to understand how it works. So you can see the smoothing and the movement of it. It smooths it out, right? So using a bigger number makes it snappier. And using a smaller number makes it go way, way slower. So I hope this helps you and have fun doing camera stuff.